So in Kendrick Lamar's newest diss track, Not Like Us, he brought back some old demons regarding Drake and Lil Wayne when he said the following. Wayne girl, like he was in jail. That's conniving. And this was regarding the time that Lil Wayne went to jail and as soon as he came out, he heard some rumors and the rumors happened to be true that Drake slept with one of his girls. And when I say one of his girls, that means this man probably had several. And the time that we're talking about, we're talking about Lil Wayne doing a lollipop. So if you watched that video, the music video to lollipop, you knew what kind of vibe Lil Wayne was in. This, this, this man was running around like an absolute tyrant running through the streets. So I don't think he cared about one of the girls, but that's ne neither here or there. Because at the end of the day, if you're one of my guys and I signed you and I brought you up and I did all that for you, doesn't matter if I have a hundred girls that I'll all rock with. You, you at this point can't even go to any of them and be like, yo, I'm gonna rock with you. So this is what Lil Wayne had to say regarding that situation. Very, very, very terrible memory. And I swear to God, I don't know what y'all talking about. I just did like three, four in, in, interviews, and I just kept it moving. Like, yeah, yeah, Drake, yeah. Oh, so I, for clarification, I that did not, what, it may not have happened. It, whatever it was, it happened. I just got a badass memory. So you don't know who the girl was. You know, know. What are we talking about? That first of all. So about. apparently, in, in the book, there's a part in the book where you say that he came in and told you that he had smashed one of your girls. Oh, your girl. when he yes. wrapped up. Oh, I wasn't worried about that. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you know, I was just, you know, that's just how life goes when you locked up. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I know. But she's done. You moved on. Life is good. Life is good. Will you rap about that? Do you think it'll end up on a, a song? Maybe you two might, you know. No, no. No. She still be texting me and stuff, you know. They stop texting me too. For real. Cause it still hurt. Does it really? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you now I remember though. Yeah, he wrapped. I don't know who he wrapped. I ain't. I don't know. When you in jail though, even yo, yo, side, 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 is your main. <laughs> when you in jail, I, wish I could talk to you yeah, all day. When you in jail, it could be somebody. When you was when you was out of jail, you ain't never text her back. You ain't call her when she called you. You couldn't tell what you couldn't tell her what color her hair was. That's how much you ain't see it. But when you in jail, whew, if she don't answer that phone when you call, Lord help. Bro, I'ma be honest, man. Drake is one of those guys you gotta keep away from whoever you have. You gotta keep that guy far, far away. Cause I know an addict when I see one. And you can look in his eyes and it looks purple, green, blue. Like he's an addict. Like he like he's a horny, horny guy. Every single problem he's ever had with anybody, the root of the cause of that problem is a female. With ASAP Rocky, Rihanna, Metro Boomin. He just brought that up in his own song that <laughs> it was a problem with one of his females. With future, female. Every single problem this guy has is about females. And then he's running around, pillow talking. The man is in a strip club, pillow talking, late night eating chicken wings. I know about these rumors. There's no rumors, but it's not really a rumor because it's true. This is what he does. You know what I mean? The man is 37, but he's living the life of a 25-year-old. But he makes good music. You know what I mean? So it arises a lot of problems. At this point, <laughs> he might have to look within, man. He might have to look within. Take it easy, relax, have a breather. This man's leaking his own nudes. It's getting bad, bro. And then now he's calling himself Big D. Like, it's... Uh, it's one of those situations. And me, I'm a Drake fan. You know what I mean? I grew up in Toronto. Like, I, I like Drake. He's a very good artist. But, like, it's, it, it's, getting, it's getting pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. There's a lot of shady stuff that this guy has done. But... Every single time he does Shady or whatever he does, he drops an absolute banger. So we forget about everything. That's what happens. You drop a banger, 
may as well forget. Like, if R. Kelly just came out of jail right now and he dropped a banger, everybody will be like, I don't know what you're talking about. This man is one of the greatest. I know people are saying it now because as time goes on, people talk more about the greatness of R. Kelly. But all, you're one hit away from beating any allegations. That's facts. That's facts. And for Drake, we could go through all this and he, if he brings out another banger, we're going to forget that he even beefed with Kendrick Lamar. We're going to forget about it. And that's the fact about the micro world, uh, world we live in from one place to another. That is all that happens. But anyways, that's crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you. That is absolutely crazy crazy and then for Kendrick to bring this to light again kudos to him man kudos to him peace